Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Anda Malescu and I am the owner of Malescu Law, a law firm based in Miami, Florida, specializing in business corporate law and U.S. immigration. We can assist you with all your immigration needs regardless of where you are currently located or where you plan to go in the United States. But before we get started on today's topic, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell button or the subscribe button. Today we are going to speak about visa options for truck drivers to work in the United States. The United States is experiencing a persistent shortage of qualified truck drivers and the COVID-19 pandemic has made it more acute. U.S. companies and U.S. trucking companies can address this shortage of truck drivers by bringing truck drivers from abroad to fill vacant positions. There are experienced truck drivers abroad who would like to start new chapters in their careers and in their lives by driving in the United States. Generally speaking, U.S. trucking companies can bring foreign truck drivers to the United States on a temporary basis to fill a short-term need by sponsoring them non-immigrant visas, but also on a permanent basis by sponsoring them permanent residency under the EB3 visa program. And separately, foreign truck drivers can also come to the United States and if they are from an E2 treaty country, they could start a trucking business in the United States on an E2 visa. We are going to discuss all these options in more detail in this video, so stick around. Once the truck driver enters the United States on an H-2B visa or as a green card holder on an EB-3 visa, they must obtain their commercial driver's license, the CDL license for the United States. Only truck drivers from Canada and Mexico may be able to use the CDLs that are issued by their countries because the U.S. government recognizes CDL licenses issued by the federal government of Mexico and the provinces and territories in Canada. The U.S. visa options for truck drivers are 1 the H-2B visa for truck drivers. The H-2B visa allows U.S. companies to bring employees from abroad on a temporary basis, usually for an initial term of 9 to 12 months. The H-2B visa can be extended up to three years as long as the employer can prove its need. U.S. employers can bring truck drivers on a temporary basis by using the H-2B visa program. In order to sponsor a truck driver on an H-2B visa, the U.S. employer, the U.S. trucking company, must obtain a temporary labor certification from the U.S. Department of Labor, also obtain a prevailing wage determination, and conduct advertising and recruitment for the H-2B position, which is the truck driver position. If finally the employer manages to prove its need and that there are no qualified U.S. workers to fill this position, then the U.S. employer may be able to obtain the H-2B visa for truck drivers from abroad on a temporary basis by using the H-2B non-immigrant visa. 
when applying for the temporary labor certification with the U.S. Department of Labor, the H-2B employer must show the temporary nature of the truck driver position by showing and proving what type of need the H-2B visa will address. And the options are a one-time occurrence, a peak load need, um, seasonal need, or an intermittent need. The U.S. employer must prove this need by using a combination of financial documents and internal records of the company and also other documentation necessary to prove the need of the employer for the truck driver position. After obtaining the la temporary labor certification from the U.S. Department of Labor, the U.S. employer must file a petition with the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services requesting H-2B visas for its foreign employees and once this petition is approved by the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, then the employee can go to the nearest U.S. consulate in order to apply an interview for the H-2B visa. Two, EB-3 visa for truck drivers. The EB-3 visa for truck drivers is a second option that U.S. companies have in order to sponsor a truck driver. Now, the EB-3 visa is an employment-based permanent resident category, which means that it allows the U.S. company to sponsor the foreign truck driver on a permanent basis in order for the truck driver to come to the United States with a green card with permanent residency in the United States to work as a truck driver. Now, in order to sponsor an EB-3 visa, the U.S. companies must show that there are insufficient U.S. workers to fill this position. In the case of truck drivers, the shortage of qualified truck drivers in the United States is well documented, so it will be easier for U.S. companies to prove that there are insufficient U.S. workers to fill the truck driver positions with their companies. The process to sponsor a foreign truck driver for an EB-3 visa is similar to that for an H-2B visa in the sense that the U.S. employer must obtain a a PERM labor certification from the U.S. Department of Labor, a prevailing wage determination from the U.S. Department of Labor, and also conduct um, a thorough recruitment and advertise the position. After the U.S. employer has taken all the steps with the U.S. Department of Labor, and the U.S. Department of Labor certifies the labor certification, the permanent labor certification, uh, also known as the PERM, then the U.S. employer must file a um, permanent resident petition for the foreign truck driver with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services on Form I-140. And if the United States approves the I-140 petition, then the truck driver and their immediate family members can um, apply for an immigrant visa at the nearest U.S. consulate when the visa bulletin is current. Or if they are in the United States, they could also apply for adjustment of status with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Now, unlike the H-2B visa 
program the EB3 visa is not temporary is for those companies that want to sponsor the truck drivers on a permanent basis to come and work in the United States permanently and it is also a much lengthier process because the EB3 visa for truck drivers is an unskilled position so it falls under the unskilled EB3 visa for the visa bulletin and there is some backlog there which means that it will take some time to obtain the EB3 visa. And finally the third option for a foreign truck driver to obtain a visa in the United States would be through the E2 visa with an investment in a trucking business and that is only possible if the foreign truck driver comes from one of the E2 treaty countries in the sense that you have a passport from one of the E2 treaty countries. This type of visa, the E2 investor visa, does not require sponsorship from a U.S. employer and the truck driver can start a U.S. trucking business without obtaining sponsorship from a U.S. employer and qualify for the E2 visa based on an investment in a U.S. company. This is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and if you need to get in touch with us, you have our contact information in this video and below this video. We will see you soon. Bye.